Hello everyone, and today I'll be showing you how to get Ubuntu or Ubuntu, ho however you want to be saying it, onto a flash drive. Onto a flash drive. Remember that. So first things first, open up Chrome or whatever your browser is, and type Ubuntu into the search bar. Then it'll just show up. It's the first one. Okay. Now you click Desktop. And then get Ubuntu, Ubuntu, whatever you want to call it, now. So now, um, so I'm gonna get the 64-bit, but you do what what works for you, for your computer, whatever works for your computer. So click download. It's pretty straightforward. You don't want to touch any of this. Just click not now. Take me to download unless you want to donate for some reason. And it'll just start automatically, you know. So now we'll wait for this to finish. It should take about two minutes. But I'll skip over that. Okay, now that you got the ISO downloaded, um, here's where the flash drive is going to come in. So you need one flash drive that's at least 16 gigabytes to install the OS on. And, you know, make sure everything, you move everything you have on it, if you do have anything on it to your computer because it's all going to be deleted and gone and that's not fun so um, you're also going to need a second flash drive or a DVD but no one uses those anymore so I just have a second flash drive with me and I'm about to plug it in so this will have the the installer so I can get this uh, that I can get you onto my actual flash drive the one with the 16 gigabytes on it so I'm going to click don't scan and you know whatever so you need this link and I'll have that in the description so you can just go to the description and see this so it'll take you here to this website so scroll down until you see the download UUI and click it of course so after it's downloaded just click this click yes and obviously just click I agree so now uh, select Ubuntu over here and now we're gonna browse for the ISO okay so click your ISO click open so now select your flash drive the one you're gonna have um, plugged in the first one you have plugged in not the 16 gigabyte one so I, I got it to format because I don't want anything to be on there and now we're gonna click create okay just click yes to that be sure this is the right flash drive by the way so you don't lose your data and just let it do what it wants to do so I'll just skip to the end and now that the installation is done woo yay so you can just close the sound we're gonna have to shut down the computer and we're done with windows see you guys in a bit hey guys now that we shut down the computer and everything we're ready to actually start booting Ubuntu so I'm about to turn on the computer and I have a Dell so <clears throat> what's the once the Dell logo shows up I'm gonna spam F12 or just hit it once. I think once will just work. But if you have a different manufacturer, you'll have a different key combination to get into the one-time boot menu. So make sure you know what that is. So let's start. I, I didn't click. Okay, I'm gonna click F12. It's gonna take you to this little screen, and it should be just the first one. Try Ubuntu without install installing and hit enter so this is where uh, your 16 gigabyte flash flash drive will come in so just plug that in once it's all done and I'll just go ahead and do mine now Oops. Mm. 
There we go. So for me, it's a bit buggy. Oh, it worked. Never mind. It usually doesn't exit that the first time. So we don't need this. So, first of all, you're going to need to click this button up here, search your computer and online sources. Okay. And uh, type disks. And just click disks. So mine's this ultra hard disk. It thinks the hard disk. So you're going to have to click this uh, stop button right here. Okay. So I can't stress this enough. You need to memorize this little piece of text right here. Okay. Make sure you know this. And it's going to be different for you. Mine, this is mine. Yours is going to be different. Just memorize it. Okay, so once you have this memorized, you can just click X. And now, we're going to click Install Ubuntu. And it's going to take a few seconds. Gosh. And once that loads up, I'll show you guys what to do next. But for now, we can just take a few seconds to enjoy the look. Okay, so clearly you're going to click English, unless you're Dutch or something and you don't understand a single word I'm saying. Um, click continue. And I'm not going to connect it to Wi-Fi for the purposes of this video. And continue. That's all good. You can install this third-party software, but I'm not going to for the purposes of this video. Okay, it's going to take you to this. Oh, come on. I believe in you. Please. Okay, this should take a few seconds. Okay. So, you make sure you're not clicking install Ubuntu alongside Windows 7 because that's not the, you know, this is not what we want to do. And it's not erase disk and install Ubuntu. And you really don't want to do this one. So just click the bottom one and it says something else. And that's what we're going to click. And then click continue. Okay, so this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated. So you know that little uh, text I told you to memorize? you gotta look for it here and click on it so mine was slash dev slash sdc4 but I messed up and I made it one by accident but that's okay you just look for whichever one you memorized and okay so this is my 16 gigabyte flash drive and we're gonna click change and um, it's 16 gigabytes and I'm gonna take one gigabyte so I'm going to write 15,000, and one of them is going to be for swap st space. So this is only going to have uh, 15,000 megabytes. So if you have a 32 megabytes for, uh, flash drive, for example, you do 2 gigabytes of swap space. And if you have anything more than that, it's okay to just write the amount of RAM you have, and it'll be all good. Anyway, so we're, uh, we're going to click Use As ext4 journaling file system format the partition and mount point here slash we're gonna click OK so we're just gonna click continue so this should take a few seconds and by that I mean more than a few seconds and you're gonna have another one pop up under this it should be about a thousand and seven megabytes I guess that's what we're gonna use for the swap space so once that shows up I'll teach you how to do that it's pretty simple too it's okay there we go so it's gonna be this and we'll click on it. Okay, so we're going to use as swap space, swap area. And we're going to click OK. Okay, so 
This is really important. When it, you see here where it says device for bootloader installation, do not put it on your hard drive. I repeat, do not put it on your hard drive. You want it on your flash drive. So mine's the SanDisk Ultra 16 gigabytes. Okay? Make sure you select your flash drive. You don't want it on the hard drive. Okay, so we're going to click install now. And let's go. I'm just going to click continue. And so if this takes a while, I'm just going to skip over it and start over when it when it's over. So actually it didn't take too long. Um we're just going to type here where you are. And I'm going to skip over that cuz there's no need for you guys to know where I am. So New York is fine, I guess, whatever, doesn't matter. So click English US unless you want to choose another language. But I'm going to choose English US and click continue. Okay, so I'm going to just put in your name, your computer's name. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys my personal information. <laughs> so So I plan on just typing random things because I'm not going to keep you into on my flash drive. So, my name I'll be GYT. I don't need a password. You have to. Oh, there's no choice. Okay. So, my password. Hmm. Okay. Click continue. Okay, so this will take a while. Might even take a few hours if you have a slow computer. So just be patient, let it do its thing, and I'll just skip over to once it's finished. Okay, so now that installation is done, and that took some time, so it's going to give you this little window, and you're going to click continue testing. And it should shut down in a second unless... Um, Unless it gives me an option to shut down another way. So once that's all done, you're going to take out your first flash drive you put in. The Okay, I'm going to shut it down first. And now we're going to take out the first flash drive that we put in. The one we used to install the second flash drive. So we can finally boot into Ubuntu from the 16 gigabyte flash drive. So I'm going to take out my first one. Okay. Okay. So now, like we did a while ago, I'm gonna hit the power button, and for me it's F12, but for you it might be different. Okay. So it's gonna show you this screen, and you're just gonna click the first one. Hit enter. And it'll be all purple because purple is the best color ever. Okay. So it should just boot you into Ubuntu using the flash drive, and you're basically done now. And this is what will happen. Okay, so you know, you remember the password that you put in? Uh, I remember my password. Okay, so put in the password. Okay, congratulations. You have Ubuntu on your flash drive now. And I'll just show you guys if you want to make sure it's on there. You can go, you can type disk, and it'll be disk usage analyzer. And you'll see that it's on the flash drive. See, it's right here. 3.3 out of what's supposed to be 16. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And, you know, if it was the least bit helpful, just make sure to hit that like button. And see you guys in my next video.